Sort of. Except for mine's not day old hamburgers. My YouTube people, thanks for coming back to see just what I do today. Now, if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, thank you. Subscribe, you might like what I got going on. Now, my channel is just about just what I do. A little bit of just what I do every day. That's all it's about. I do miscellaneous things. I do cooking, car repair, animals, anything you can think of, I can do it, usually. And I do a lot of uh, vacation trips to the mountains, so there's a lot of fishing videos right now. We like to go until the weather won't let us go anymore. So anyways, please subscribe, stick around, you might like to see what I've got going on. And to those of you who have already subscribed, thank you for watching my videos, seriously, and sticking around and not unsubscribing on me. It takes a lot to get your channel to grow. But anyways, as you can tell, today's video is a cooking video. My Tuesday videos usually are. My Friday videos are usually my vacation trips. But today's video, as you can tell, is going to how is how to make turkey chili. Now why turkey? Because it's less fat is a little leaner, a little less fat than hamburger and whatnot, and plus, I like it. Now, my version of turkey chili is kind of a rendition of uh, Wendy's chili. Sort of. Except for mine's not day-old hamburgers. But, all you need for this recipe is some um, a one-pound roll of there it is. Ground turkey. I get this at Walmart. It's like $1.68 a roll, so it's a heck of a lot cheaper than hamburger. Especially when you're on a budget. And then I have a can of uh, dark red kidney beans. Two cans of chili beans. Some cannellini beans, which are just white kidney beans. Some black beans. And a petite diced can of tomatoes, or rather, big can. Now these are Italian style, it's all Walmart had. It won't matter, it'll all meld together. Now I'm also going to use some onion powder, some garlic powder, some chili powder, some pepper, which I forgot to pull out, and just a little bit of seasoned salt, not a lot, I don't use a lot of that. But, the first thing I'm going, going to do is to brown up the turkey burger. And what and that's all browned up, I'll show you the next step. This is pretty much a uh, dump and go dinner. Really simple dinner, you could always do it in a crock pot if you wanted to. But I'm going to brown up this turkey burger real quick, and I will be right back. There's just one more thing that you're going to need for this recipe, and that is a big pot to put it all in. Now you can do this in a crock pot, just brown your meat first and then throw everything in, the, in there together and let it uh, warm up for a while. But today I'm going to be using this big pot to throw everything in because this is our uh, family night dinner. So let me brown up the meat and I'll show you the next step. Okay, as you can see, we've got that all browned up now. We're going to dump that into the big pot and then do the next step. Now, if you like your chili with more meat in it, then just get two pounds of turkey burger or hamburger. You can do hamburger with this, this recipe too. It does, doesn't have to be turkey burger. It's just that it was cheaper than hamburger. And a little less fat, a little leaner. 
Now, I did season the turkey burger while I was cooking, while it was cooking. Now you just season it to taste. If you like more garlic powder, use more garlic powder. If you don't like garlic, then don't use garlic. Now, if you want it more spicy, you can always add jalapenos or whatever your favorite pepper is. So, let me open all these cans and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, I've got all of those cans open now. Now, you can, not the chili bean ones, but the regular bean ones, you can dump those in a strainer and uh, rinse off the brine if, if you feel like it. Uh, it helps take out some of the salt and whatnot. But I leave it because uh, I think the juice helps thicken the chili. I leave it. It's your preference. If you want to rinse it, fine. If not, then whatever. And also, if you don't like tomatoes in your chili, then don't add tomatoes. It's just what I'm using for this recipe. It's what I like to use. And if you want to just stick with one bean, you can just stick with one bean. I just thought I'd make it like three different beans. Technically, it's two different beans, just that's a white one, that's a red one. Now, the only thing left to do is to dump all these in. Now, with the chili beans, I am going to add a little water to the can and, you know, swish it around and dump it in. But the only next step to do is to pour it all in together. So that's pretty much it. The only thing left to do is to season it to taste, which is going to be with uh, some onion powder. Now I don't measure anything, so make sure that you do do it to your liking. I know it seems like a lot, but it'll all work out. This one's garlic powder, then this one's chili powder. Now I'm trying not to make this super spicy because my mom can't handle spicy food anymore. It makes her sick. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of chili powder. Now if you want it more spicy, add more chili powder because there is chili beans in there and I did season the meat. So I don't wanna do too much of the chili powder. Because you always want to do a little bit because you can always add more later. And this is just a season all. Now, I don't like using the lid it comes with because it has such giant holes right there. And it just comes out way too fast. So I just like to poke a little hole in the top so it just sprinkles lightly rather than too much. Because you don't want to do too much salt to begin with because the brine in the beans is already salty. So you could always rinse that off as I said before if you wanted to. So let's stir this together. Here, let me give you a look. So that's the chili. Now this chili is best if you let it sit for a while and let all the flavors meld together. Now if you want chunkier tomatoes, then get ch the chunkier tomatoes. Um, not everybody likes the tomatoes in the chili, so that's why I went with the petite diced ones. The little tiny, little itty bitty tiny diced ones. But there's the chili. 
Now we're going to put the lid on this. Let this simmer for about an hour. We'll come back, give it a taste, see if it needs any more seasoning, and we'll go from there. So, here is the finished product. It has been simmering for a little over an hour. I just think it makes the flavors melt better if you let it simmer. And I put some sour cream and some cheese on it. And you can put whatever you want on it. You can put cilantro. I can't stand cilantro, but you can put cilantro on it or, or peppers or corn chips or whatever. But this is our family meal for tonight. We're going to have a hot dog with it because I like a hot dog in mine. And some cornbread and a big bird salad, which you saw in a previous video. If you want to see how I make a big bird salad, leave a comment down below and I'll make it in one of my next videos for you. So, this one's all made up. Why don't you have a bite? There you go. So what do you think? I think it's pretty good. My family will like it tonight. Now, if you do like it spicier, then add more of your chili powder, or you can add jalapenos to it, or you, you can add whatever you want to it, just season it to your liking. Now, I tried not to make this one too spicy, because as I said before, my mom can't handle the spice anymore, and it makes her sick, and I don't want to have to uh, help her through that. Anyways, so uh, this is my turkey chili, my kind of rendition on Wendy's chili, just with with a fresh turkey, not leftover hamburgers. Um, why I did the turkey burger is, again, because it's just lower in fat and leaner, and it's a heck of a lot cheaper than hamburger. The turkey burgers are like only $1.68 a roll, so I can get two rolls of turkey burger for the price of one thing of hamburger right now. But anyways, that's the video for today. I hope you like it. If you lasted this long, thank you very much for watching the whole video. Please stick around, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I post on Tuesdays and Fridays. Fridays are my vacation videos, so there's a lot of fishing and mountain videos there. Uh, Tuesdays are miscellaneous videos. You never know what you're going to get. I just show you uh, just a little bit of what I do every day. So. Thanks for watching Just What I Do Today. Please subscribe, as I said before. Hit that notification button so you get notified every time I post. Hit that like button. Share this video if you want to. It would help greatly. It would help me a lot, and I'd greatly appreciate it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.